Now let's use something called the wind deformer. To do that, I'm going to take a plane object right over here. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to take a plane object just like this. And I'm going to enable uh, the line so that I can actually see what is happening. So I'm going to press NB so that I can see the line. And over here, you can see that I can have the segments. And since I want a really uh, a fl fluid type of, and de uh, of a deformer animation, I'm going to increase the size, the division, maybe up to 20 by 20 right here. So I'm going to have uh, much level of detail right here. So the orientation, I can set it. So for the A's of use, I'm going to set down the orientation into, let's say, uh, the front view itself. So I'm going to use the Z-axis for this, as you can see. So let me just bring this up right over here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to my deformer option right here, and I'm going to use win. So let me just click on win, and over here you can see that the deformer is there. Now, uh, I'm going to make the deformer the child of the plane, and you can see that deforming always hap uh, already happens. And if you were to play this, the animation happens as well. So I'm gonna keep on playing this as you can see right here, and I'm going to go into the win, and then change its options and you can see the changes right here so the amplitude if i were to increase it you can see the distance uh, of change you can see over here from the left side if you want to animate something like uh, a flag you can actually use this so i can increase the size as you can see right there i can also increase the size of the deformer as you can see so it becomes much more sturdy as you can see and if you were to really bring it down you can see that uh, very subtle changes actually happen. So let me just increase this out so that I, I because I want to give it a flag like effect right here. I can also increase the frequency, which simply means the speed right there. So I can actually increase the speed so it really is fast as you can see. Let me just decrease this a bit, just like that. Turbulence is uh, the state of randomness there from top to down, just like this. You can see that it seems very windy now. So let me just decrease this out, just like that, just a bit. Frequency, let me just bring that down. And there you go, you got the flag light deformer as you can see. But if you really want to make this like a flag, you can also increase the level of effect as you can see and decrease the level of effect right from over here, increase the vertical effect right here, and you can see that multiple effects are actually added. Let me just decrease the amplitude because I do not want it to, to be so fast. Uh, let me decrease the frequency as well, just like this. And there you go, just a bit of deformer, just like that. The flag over here means that if you do not have the flag, then everything is random as you can see. But if I were to turn on the flag, there's a fixed point. Right now, this is the fixed point. If I were to drag it onto the left, you can see that the left side is quite fixed now. And if I were to drag it onto the right, the right side is fixed right now. So let me just bring this uh, backward to this size right here. And just decrease the amplitude size over here. Let me increase this. All right. Maybe the vertical effect, I do not want it so much just like that. So this really looks like a flat. Now, decrease the size, amplitude, just decrease the size over here. There you go. So it does look like a flag. So let me just add in a flagpole right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the animation. And I'm just going to uh, drag this object out. So I'm just going to drag this object out over here just like this and now what i'm going to do is from the top view i'm just going to uh, bring out an object so i'm going to bring out something like a cylinder i'm going to go over here and then increase the size of the cylinder right here so let me just go over here uh, increase the size of the cylinder so let me just go over here increase the size i may want to convert this into a polygonal object or maybe i don't need to do that so i'm just going to decrease the size over here just decrease, uh, make it uh, look like a flagpole. So let me just increase it and decrease the overall size. Okay, so it is quite hard to eyeball it. So I'm just going to decrease the size from over um, this side. All right, so let me just go over here, decrease the size. Okay, just there you go. Increase the size just like that. All right, okay, just this size. And there you go. Now it looks like a flagpole just like that. Now, uh, to have multiple flagpoles, I'm just going to select both of these and I'm going to control and drag it. I'm going to press control and drag it. So I'm going to hold control, move it aside. And there you go. I got a second flag, a third flag, fourth flag and so forth. And now uh, the thing is the animation is the same. So I'm just going to uh, change the, the deformer 
option right here and make it a bit of difference just like this so let me just decrease this out just like that um, uh, for this one for this one maybe i want to uh, change out the effects a bit just like that okay so it'll make it more wavy and for this one that is the first one let me just change the size right here so you have different level of animation as you can see so there's a bit of a change in all of the flags right there and there you go that's the animation that you have so let me press n a and it goes back to the shaded mode and you can see that there's a subtle animation now of the flags swaying around and not much effort was needed to be kept to come up with this output so that is how you can use the wind deformer inside of cinema 4d hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe